what's up guys um, this is your boy Montre and I am uh, doing my I guess this is, is this my first blog for the year I'm in my new apartment and uh, just reacclimating myself for the new year trying to get all set up got my dog here mister have y'all met mister before this is my dog mister hey mister Hey, what's up? He's not very camera friendly. He's like, what's up? Anyhow, um, as you know, I am newly single. Single back into the single life, which is uh, an adjustment for me. I had a relationship two years, and so now I'm trying to get back into the single life. And. Uh, I guess my mindset has changed a lot about what I want and what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And so, um, those are the things I want to talk about. So, um, what is it, how, how important is sex and, and sexual relationships and how we do it? What do gay, gay guys look for in dating and stuff like that? And how hard it is with dating with, uh, with gay guys in the gay community. Um, for one, I really, I think sex is very important. I think sex is very important when relationships. I think sex in dating is very important. I, I think when it comes to gay guys, I think when it comes to men, we kind of go backwards. We use, we do the sex first, and then we kind of move backwards, and we want to date, and then trying to figure out, okay, well, now that I test drive in the car, let's talk about the financing and stuff. <laughs> That's how guys do with dating, and uh, you know, I'm the same way because I, I'm for one believe that you know you should sleep with somebody before you decide you want to be in a relationship with them but that's not the main thing that's not the most important thing of course you want to know if you can communicate with them if they have a good conversation if if they're crazy um, if they have any hang-ups and all that other bullshit that comes with dating but there are times that you can find that you're not sexually compatible with the person people think that just because Oh, I call myself a freak that I am sexually compatible with you, but not everybody is sexually compatible with you. You know what I mean? Just because somebody says, oh, you're gay and he's gay, you're both sexually compatible with each other. That's not necessarily true. And, I, and I've been in a lot of situations with dudes that have just different preferences. There are guys who are very freaky who like like water sports and all types of shit. And there's guys who are like, I don't like any kind of liquid anything on me. Like, I don't like cum, I don't like nothing, please. Like, really? Then there are, then there are guys who don't like oral sex at all. They don't give it. Oh, they'll take it. They'll take oral sex, but they don't give oral sex. So, I recently met a guy who did not like blowjobs. He did not like giving blowjobs. I'm like, really? You don't like giving blowjobs, you don't like giving anything. But he'll take all that shit, but he doesn't want to give it. So, yeah, I, I'm just a little disturbed by that. Just, just slightly, slightly disturbed. I mean, what is going on with that? Um, as far as it goes, though, I'm just living my life right now, and I think I want to date around for a few months before I, I guess, tie down to anybody uh, seriously. I just got out of a relationship, so I'm not trying to be in a, jump into a relationship. So I don't think 
I'll be just like, you know, Valentine's Day, boom, I got me a new boo. Yo, what's up? Here's a new boo. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. Um, but I definitely want to meet a variety of different guys and just see what's out there because I think my love pattern is that I love way too fast. That's a good thing and a bad thing about me is that I love way too fast. I, I find somebody and I like, ooh, I see this ideal of what we can be and I'm like, yes, this is working. This, this will happen, this will work. And then it doesn't, you know, like, oh, I get disappointed. Did you, act, did you come back that quick? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know it's around the corner. That's my roommate. She went to go get something to eat. The what? Mmm. So I think that's that's my issue is that I think I just move way too fast. And so in the future, I think I'm just going to move a little bit slower and try to get to know people. Join me on this journey. Just journey of life. I'll talk to you guys later and uh, leave me a comment because if you don't do it, then